Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. So, we're just gonna see what comes up. You know, the timing is fluid, right? So, this could be 21st, 22nd, could be next week, could be whenever. So, what do we have for a message today for the upcoming energy? What do we have for a message today? What do I need to know? <laughs> okay. Well, the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So somebody is, tr it's almost like all tied up. All tied up. Somebody's all tied up. They are trapped. Trapped in fear, wanting to play it safe, but this is love. Okay, the Ace of Cups is love, an outpouring of emotion, emotional uh, feelings of some sort. This is a new start in love, but this is uh, fearful. It's very fearful. So, some, I mean, come on now. That is fearful, you know. Um, choosing in, to play it safe by the looks of things. It's like there's a, you can go, you can break free from this fear, you can step outside of your comfort zone. There's love in front of you, but if you choose not to see it or you choose to protect yourself, well, you know, that sucks. Anyhow, um, Ace of Swords, not Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, but that Eight of Swords, that is, wow, um, protection, wanting to protect very very fearful uh, mental turmoil somebody is very worried very very worried about stepping outside of their comfort zone they may be worried about their heart okay they may be worried about falling in love or worried about mm, this is definitely worried and this is love so it's probably going to be very emotional somebody may well be wanting to you know, like i said protect their heart by the looks of things but this is happiness, affection. Somebody could be showing some affection. There could be a new start in love here that is happening. But we have one individual that may be resisting it. Very, very scared. So somebody is definitely scared of falling in love. Or scared of deepening a bond. Or scared of opening their heart. Or scared of following their heart. Could go multiple different ways but there's definitely some worry and it is worried about uh, getting hurt by the looks of things I mean that's what I think it is but this is a big huge I mean the ace of cups is a huge opportunity for happiness Magician reversed. Now, the magician reversed is uh, powerless. Powerless, probably to a connection, because the, the magician has a divine connection. So there could be a connection here that somebody is is powerless to it. You know, there's there's, you know, uh, maybe feeling not qualified. Somebody may not feel qualified for the job, or they feel like it's out of control, or they're I don't know if there's some sort of manipulation here as well. The, the magician reverse is manipulation, but it could be fear because this is the fear. This could be fear of manipulation, fear of being taken advantage of, fear of hidden agendas, fear of being tricked, fear of being duped. And that's why there's a desire to protect the heart. And this is unplanned. So there's some sort of unplanned opportunity not planned, no, you know, wasn't planning it. Now, this is freedom. It's it, it, There's a need to be free. A need to be free from your thoughts. Your, somebody's thoughts is getting in the way of happiness. Mm, but there's no action. Not wanting to take action because of fear. So that makes sense. 
Um, let's get another card on this Magician card. Magician Reverse. What is this Magician Reverse? You know, uh, Trickster, typically. Ooh, there's the Ace of Swords. And it's funny, because I was looking at the Ace of Cups, and it was going right there. Must have felt that, baby. Yeah, so that is the truth, the power. Very, very powerful, the raw truth. Some sort of communication, a wake-up call of some sort. A new idea, a new uh, proposal. Somebody is getting a new proposal. It's a, it's, it's a very... Well, it's whatever it is. It's sharp. It's it's uh, a new idea. New perspective is needed. A new perspective is needed. What I just heard was cuts like a knife. So something, you know, the f first cut is the deepest. Uh, Something about loving again. Afraid to love. Something like that. Anyhow, um, Ace of Swords. Now that is a truth, communi truthful communication. Opening of the heart. Somebody may need to open their heart, but there's no... Uh, there's definitely fear. There's definitely fear. Um, taking a new approach. This is a new idea. Communicating. Be honest. This is totally unplanned. So look at all these ones. One, one, one. Like I said yesterday, somebody has manifested something. Somebody has manifested something with these ones. Okay? This could be the one. It could be the one. Um, that breaks you free from some sort of trap. Because that is a trap. Somebody has been in some sort of trap. But it's their own trap. They've chosen to be trapped. They've chosen to... Uh, play it safe. No plan on falling in love. <laughs> oh, yikes! Some, you know that that magician reversed is is a very tricky, very very tricky, very very. Uh, I don't know. I need to get another card. What the hell is this magician reversed? Mmm. Queen of Cups reversed. Emotional blockage of some sort. There's some sort of emotional blockage. Somebody does not want to open their heart, okay? That's all there is to it. Very, very heartbroken. Oh, God. Yes, we have a heartbroken individual here who is very, very fearful of being taken advantage of, of being manipulated, so they want to protect themselves from, you know, having that happen again. So, um, there is a new beginning that is opening up, though, with these two aces in the upright position. We have a new beginning here. But somebody is going to need to find their resources that they are lacking right now to break free from their fears. They need to find the resources within them to, to uh, step outside of their comfort zone. And it feels like there's just so much confusion and emotions all over the place. It's just very... Uh, it's so emotional. It's so emotional to step outside of your comfort zone. And that's what we have here. I feel like, I don't even know if there's going to be some sort of freaking tears with the Queen of Cups reverse. There absolutely could be some tears. I think we have a very delicate individual here. Um, but there is some sort of uh, disappointment um, some sort of disappointment here. What the heck? Nine of Cups. Now, Nine of Cups is about having it all. 
this person. Somebody has it all. I'm not sure if we have a greedy individual here who is very smug that wants to have it all. You know? So, I, th I mean, you may have somebody here that is uh, very, very tricky. We have a tricky. We have a tricky individual here who may appear to have it all. This person may appear to have it all. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure if they're emotionally available with that Queen of Cups reversed and the Magician reversed. Uh, Nine of Cups is about this person is very, very happy with themselves. They've come a long way. Very, very uh, I feel like we have a show off here. Just saying. It feels like we have a show off that it may be even be a heartbreaker. I'm wondering if we have a heartbreaker here that somebody has to protect themselves from. Um, they could be communicating with somebody that is a heartbreaker. That, And maybe that's just the fear. That could just be the fear because of that Eight of Swords. That is mental turmoil. Um, but that Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment. We have somebody here that is quite content where they're at anyway, but that Queen of Cups next to it is, I'm not sure if there's some, with these two cards, I'm not sure if there's some sort of revenge or scandalous bullshit going on with these two cards reverse or, or jealousy or, you know, maybe it's a rebound type of thing. I'm not sure what is going on. I gotta get another card for right there. Because that Queen of Cups in reverse, the Queen of, and the Magician reverse, that could be a master manipulator who uses emotional blackmail as a tool um, to get people trapped, you know, to get people to feel like they're not good enough or something like that with that Eight of Swords to get people to feel like they can't do what they want. So it's very interesting. Um... Ooh, three of swords, three of swords. So three of swords is heartache, heart pain, um, heart issues. I'm wondering if we have somebody here that has some heart issues. Um, that is despair, suffering, definitely. And I saw it with the Queen of Cups, deep sadness. We have somebody here that is going to be very, very sad. You know, this is a separation or something. I mean, the Three of Swords is typically a, a separation or it's a, you know, it's a painful situation. So we have a painful situation here uh, that is, that is uh, causing some sort of mental turmoil. Painful? mental turmoil so there's some sort of mental turmoil we have an individual that probably wants to have it all and has an opportunity to have it all but the fear is so great and i feel like there's also greed here so i'm not sure where that plays into this reading but i really want to say it i think we really have a greedy selfish individual here who um is very very smug i feel like they have some tricks up their sleeve I feel like we have we we do. I think we have somebody has some tricks up their sleeves. I, mean, I don't know. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a um, Gemini. Um, but if it, it, uh, it could be anybody, but that Three of Swords is hurting. Somebody is hurting. They are uh, suffering. So somebody is suffering, um, and they may not have any more resources. <laughs> Freaking little bug. There's lack of resources here. Somebody may be feeling depleted, okay? Somebody's resources may be dwindling, and it could even be financial resources. So, because I don't see any money in these cards, okay? So somebody's financial resources may be dwindling, so they could have some tricks up their sleeve, you know, looking for somebody that can bring them abundance or money or something, because there ain't no money here in these cards. So I feel like I feel like we do have a trickster here, and I know I've changed the story, but it's it's very it's very prominent here. Um, 
there's heartache, there's grief, there's suffering, there's pain, there's there's a, there's some sort of um, right here. Okay, that's what I was just going over with, um, or going over. This is a loss of some sort. I don't know if there's, like I said, I don't know if there's heart problems or not. Somebody may be receiving a wake-up call. Okay, they may be receiving a wake-up call, you know, um, that uh, makes them very, very emotional. And that could, like, like, literally could be a phone call. Okay. I do see tears as well. I see tears. I see sadness. I also see celebrating with that nine of cups. It's like, it's, it's tears, it's sad, but it's fake, fake tears. So there could be some fake tears. You know, somebody is, is, is experiencing a loss, but they're deep down, they're happy about it. So I, I mean, I hate to say that, but I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Um, so eight of swords is trapped somebody has been trapped in a situation that they i feel like they're about to be broken free from and that's what makes them so happy um i do feel like there's going to be some sad news though i do um the ace of cups is is happiness a new seeing things differently with the ace of swords I wonder if somebody's going to have some sharp pain. I mean, I hope it's not like a heart attack or something, but I have to say it because that's what I, I don't know why I feel that way. Um, but anyhow, because I said sharp earlier and, and the Ace of Cups can represent heaven. So I don't know what that is, but that is a new start in love. It's, it's, it's an, it's a, it's a gateway. Okay. The Ace of Cups is a gateway. Um, a gateway to love is opening for somebody um, but they will have to step outside of their comfort zone and uh, be honest with themselves. And uh, it feels like leave some sort of past hurt behind that Three of Swords. I, it's definitely, I think we have a, it feels like there's some sort of, somebody's been wishing, they've been, they've been wishing for this. They've been wishing for this to happen. This is wishing, which is sad. They've been wishing for freedom, you know? And I think there's something that is going to happen that breaks them free from whatever it is that they were stuck in. Um, maybe there's a new love. Maybe somebody has found a new love, you know, and that's what breaks them free. You know what I mean? It's like, oh... You know, you know, somebody, maybe somebody was holding on, you know, they were holding on to somebody that it wasn't meant to be, that they don't have a connection with or whatever. And uh, now there's a new love here. There definitely is a new love. This is, this is a new, a new idea, a new idea, a new love, a new approach, uh, an awakening of some sort. It feels like there's a spiritual awakening here as well, right here. So somebody is going through a spiritual awakening, um, totally unplanned. So this could be an unplanned loss, just, just saying. Um, but I think it's secretly, and it's sad, but I, I feel like it's secretly, secretly, it's what somebody has been wishing for. And that's, it's sad, but you know, I'm reading what the cards say. Um, I think we have a very manipulative individual here who, um, has been pretending this person has been pretending um but anyway let's get another card for over here that ace of swords is the truth truthful communication a, a call or a message is coming um it's going to be an emotional message um it's probably going to tear at your heartstrings. um it's going to force you to see something that you have been choosing not to see that you have been ignoring. Ooh, Ace of Wands reverse. Now we got four aces right here. So somebody, you know, four aces, that's 11, 11. I think we have a separation here. A separation for good. That leads to a new love. This is going south going downhill somebody's fire going out the passion uh going away but 
being weighed down, weighed down, held down, no desire, no desire, no life. There is a new opportunity for love here. You have to be honest. And you have to break free from your fears. Somebody is being broken free. That's what I feel like. They're being broken free. There's no growth where they've been. There's no passion. There's no desire. They're going to receive a message that makes them very happy. They're free. You know, they're free. However that resonates with you. And it's going to allow them to take a new approach. Ace of Cups is a new start in love. So there is a new start in love. But it comes after something goes out. You know, that goes out. One more card. One more card. Time is now. Oh. The Fool. Starting with a clean slate. Starting over. Starting from scratch. Starting a new journey. Leaving it all behind. Somebody is leaving it all behind. Not taking it with them. They're leaving. Okay, that is starting a new journey. This is freedom. Acting on impulse. And the Magician Reverse is acting on impulse as well. Somebody is going to be t making a spur of the moment decision to leave something behind and go down a new path. That's exactly what's going to happen. This is exciting. It's an exciting. This is very risky. Somebody's going to be taking a risk. They're going to be starting a new chapter, a new life. Because where they've been, there's no desire, there's no growth, there's no passion. There's no there's no there's no reason to stay. So we have somebody here that is is just going. Okay? They're taking a leap of faith, making a spur of the moment decision. They're letting go of their fear and they're breaking free. On one hand, it's going to make them very happy. But on the other hand, somebody's going to be very, very sad. Good luck. 